Disposing of Unusable Health Commodities. Meet George and Leah. George is a pharmacist at the health center in his town. Leah is his friend and an experienced nurse. She recently attended a training on management of pharmaceutical waste and has come to George's health center to share her new knowledge with him. Leah will teach George about pharmaceutical waste, what it is, and why its proper disposal is important, recommended methods to dispose of pharmaceutical waste, and steps that healthcare providers should take to ensure the effective disposal of pharmaceutical waste. Leah joins George for a visit to the storage room to check how much medication they have on hand. Wow, it's messy in here. How do you keep track of your stock with such a disorganized storage room? It hasn't been working so well. The doctor asked me to find out how much stock we have on hand of these items. I hope I can find them in here. George discovers that the medicines he is looking for are old and about to expire. I had no idea that so many of our medications were out of date. It looked like we had so many on the shelves. Congratulations, George, for getting the storage room organized so well. And now that you've cleaned out the expired commodities, look at all of the extra space you have. Yes, an organized storage room has so much more extra space than a messy one. But now, what do I do with all the expired products? Just throw them away like we usually do? It's quick and cheap. What harm could it do? You can't do that. In my training, I learned that unsafe disposal of our pharmaceutical waste can be dangerous to people and the natural resources in our community. If we simply throw away, bury, or openly burn our medicines that are damaged or expired, we will expose the public to medications that are potentially toxic. The medicines will eventually disperse into the air and water supply. If unusable medicines are not destroyed properly, they can be scavenged and sold on the black market. The sale of expired products on the black market can cause sickness or even death. So since many of these are expired or damaged medicines, we need to know how to handle potentially hazardous pharmaceutical waste. But what is pharmaceutical waste exactly? And what makes it different from other types of waste that we handle? Pharmaceutical waste is healthcare waste made of pharmaceutical products that are unusable due to damage or expiration. This waste is commonly generated at health facilities and pharmacies and usually comes in the form of expired medicines or expired condoms. Pharmaceutical waste does not include needles or infectious waste. Unlike pharmaceutical waste, infectious waste is hazardous and requires more specialized handling and disposal procedures. The best way to dispose of pharmaceutical waste is by incineration. In the training I attended, we learned about how to handle this kind of waste. We will have to find a place to incinerate the pharmaceutical waste. I know that some of the regional and district facilities use incinerators to dispose of their waste. Some facilities have their own incinerator, and others have their waste collected and transported to the nearest waste disposal facility. When using an incinerator, it is important to check that the incinerator functions at a high quality standard or is appropriately certified. So what's the procedure to dispose of these unusable medicines? After waste is created at the health facilities, consult National Waste Disposal Guidelines to determine the appropriate waste disposal method. Then approval needs to be obtained from ministry officials to move forward with a specific method of waste disposal because certain methods are not effective depending on the type and quantity of waste you have. Once approval is obtained, pharmaceutical waste can be transported to the closest disposal facility. The facilities will incinerate the waste so that it is safe for final disposal. In the past, we have taken small quantities of expired products and buried them in the back garden. Can we continue to do that? Burial of pharmaceutical waste is certainly not ideal but is acceptable for small quantities of waste, but only if it is done in a safe manner. That means having a protective fence to keep out animals, children, or thieves. 
Controlled substances or cancer drugs, which are toxic, should never be buried. When burying pharmaceutical wastes, consult local environmental authorities to learn about the groundwater levels in your area to determine the depth of your burial pit. I heard that some products can just be flushed down the toilet or dumped in the sewer. Is that true? That's partially true. However, only mild liquid items such as cough syrups, vitamins or eye drops may be disposed of in the sewer system. And it's important to never put antibiotics or other potentially toxic drugs into the sewer or water supply. Oh, I'm not sure about all of this. There seem to be so many rules to follow. I don't have time for this. I have work to do with our patients. Well, look at the trouble we're in. The health center thought they had more usable stock than it did. In fact, we're almost stocked out of some important drugs and we're wasting space filling the shelves with useless medicines. At some point, we will need to address this because it will keep getting worse. If we don't, we will run the risk of not only having stockouts and not having any medicine, but also giving expired medicine to patients, which could be harmful to their health. Yes, I see your point now. Plus, it causes us all headaches moving these expired products around the storeroom and letting them get in our way. Let's get rid of them. Once in a while, we have to stop what we are doing and take extra time to organize so we can do our work more effectively. In the long run, we will save ourselves a lot of time and aggravation. Okay, I agree with you. Let's do this the right way from now on. There seem to be some simple steps that we can take here at the health center. Leah, can you explain them? You can start by using separate containers for pharmaceutical and general waste. Another good practice is to assign someone at your clinic to be responsible for following proper waste disposal procedures and obtain any approvals required by the Ministry of Health. If we assess stock status regularly, we will take note of medicines that are close to expiry. By keeping a more accurate count of stock on hand, you can reduce stockouts. Less stockouts means better quality care for patients, and the clinic can save money by using storage space efficiently and having fewer unusable commodities. Do you have any tips for what we can do here at the health center to avoid having so many expired products in the future? Minimizing the amount of pharmaceutical waste that you produce in the first place will help you to avoid expiration and make waste disposal easier in the long run. The less waste we produce, the less we need to dispose of. We can achieve waste minimization by taking some simple actions. Order the correct amount of product. Manage by first expiry, first out. Return expired products to the supplier. And separate pharmaceutical waste from general waste. Let's review some key points. Proper disposal of pharmaceutical waste is important because it keeps the public safe and can make the facility more organized and efficient. Some products can be flushed down a toilet, while other stronger medications should be sent to a disposal facility for high temperature incineration. Burial pits are acceptable, but only if they are well protected. Proper disposal of waste at a facility involves 1. Collecting all pharmaceutical waste at the facility. 2. Consulting the Ministry of Health for national waste disposal guidelines and obtaining approval of the recommended disposal method. 3. Organizing transport of the waste to a disposal facility. George is very pleased with the useful information that Leah has shared and feels empowered that, with some help, he can make changes to his health center that will allow for more effective disposal of unusable health commodities. Let's get started. To learn more about healthcare waste disposal, here are some recommended resources.